Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again, everyone. Today we will be learning about theorem number 17. Let me just zoom in here for a bit. Okay. So theorem 17 on first circles um, the, states that the products of the intercepts of two intersecting chords are congruent. Okay. And to be more specific, um, uh, if you would have two chords in your given figure, of course, um, and they are intersecting. It means that the chord will be divided into two parts. Not necessarily equal parts, but just simply two parts. Okay? So, say we have this chord AC. You will see here ayan, in our figure. Okay, say we have this chord AC. Ayan, itong chord niyan. And then we have chord DB. Okay? So, if you, you have this chord and they intersect, uh, of course, the point of intersection, we will denote it as point E. It is stated here in the theorem that if you have this um, kind of setup, you will have AE. Okay? One interval of your first um, chord and then multiplied by the second interval being EC is equals to DE, the other chord, okay, times EB, the other interval of the uh, of the chord, okay, DE times B. Okay, so again, you will have just simply the products of the part is equal to the products of the part. So your first chord, say we have chord AC. The products of the part of chord AC is equal to the product of the parts of chord DB. Okay? And for, um, for us to have a better understanding of this figure, let's go, ahead, uh, let's go again to GeoGebra. Now, in GeoGebra, of course, um, you will have this figure and the measurements are precise. So, you don't have to worry about that. Okay? I mean, uh, na baka uh, mali yung magiging sagot natin. Okay? So, the theorem states that Say we have this two chord. May it be ilipat ko tong chord na to here. Okay. Or anywhere else. It's okay. Okay. But just uh, let's have this uh, given two chords. And we have chord CB which is div um, divided at point F. And we have this chord BE divided at point F also. Kasi that is the point of intersection. You will notice that this chord CB will have CF uh, and FB. And it is stated here that CF is zero po it's 5.07 units. And this FB is 2.95 units. And well, as with FE, it's um, 2.2 and BE is 6.8. So, ov obviously, ano, they are not the same. They don't have the same values. Okay? They are not bisected by, uh, ano, um, by any chance. And lang. Um, the property will state that. The parts of the entire chord CB, which is of course the parts is just simply, let's use a pen. The parts is just simply CF, and we have um, FB. Okay, it says that if I multiply them, this would be equal to the parts of your second chord, which is in DE. You will have DF times FE. Okay, so again, this would be simply the measurement of the chords. Or the measurement of those segments, okay? The, the product of the parts of a chord, of one chord, is equal to the products of the parts of the other chord. So, let's uh, have the values, okay? In CF, the value of CF is 5.07. And the product, I, I mean the value of um, FB is 2.95. It should be equal to the product of BF is 6.8 times um, our FE is 2.2. Okay. So, let's try to multiply them. And, of course, you can do this on your own. 5.07 times 2.95. The answer is 14. 14.95. Okay. And, hope, let's hope that if we multiply 6.8 times 2.2, the answer would still be the same. Or at least approximately okay if we multiply them the answer would be 14.96 and then again even though they are not equal kasi ano um this is 95 and 0.96 it would be approximately the same okay and approximation when it comes to measurement pagdating sa circle is uh we are accepting if, if it is 0 0.01 kasi the difference between um 14.96 and 14.95 is 0 0.01. It's very small. And it's actually negligible na. Kasi sobrang liit niya lang. Okay? 
So, therefore, we can consider this one as approximately the same. Okay? And if you may ask, I'm sorry, what if nag-iba yung value? Do you think it would still be the same? Of course, I do think it would still be the same. So, let's have it like this. Yan. Okay, so maybe let's check. Okay, and I will just simply get the product already. Okay, I will get the product already. Let me just um, multiply. Let's have um, 3.4. 3.4 times 5.23. The answer is of course um 17.78 equals to should be the same as 3.05 times 5.84. And the answer would be uh, 3.05 times 5.84. Uh, the answer would be um this is 17.81. And let's get the difference between them. 17.81 minus um, 17.78. Sorry, 78. It's just simply 0 0.03. The difference is 0 0.03. Again, the difference is very negligible. Why? Because it's very small. It's just simply ano, to the tenths. I mean, hundreds. Okay? Hundreds. So if, again, the difference is just on the hundreds, it's very negligible then they are not necessarily equal but they are approximately equal but still our theorem stands okay we have proven that our theorem is correct by of course the examples okay that any given okay any given circle that will have two chords that intersects will have the following property being the products of the intercept of two intersecting chords are congruent okay and what is the implication of that or what is the use of that? It's like this. For example, um, let me erase the other, you know, the other drawings. Wait lang, let me undo a lot of things. Okay. Uh, the use of this one would be if you do not know one part. Again, if you do not know one part. So, for example, um, let me just undo this a little bit. Uh, this, okay. Yan, 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 yan. Uh, let's leave 5.05. Okay. Uh, let's leave this part na lang. Yan. For example, you do not know DF. Hindi mo alam si DF. Let me hide the DF. So, object. Okay. And the only thing that you know is FE. So, meaning, we can denote DF as an unknown value. And, of course, in unknown in algebra, we can denote this as X times 2.2. .2. Okay. And then, we solve for X. We solve for the unknown. Um, 5.07. 5.07 times 2.95 is equals to 14.9565 ayan exact na natin and x times 2.2 .2, we transpose 2.2 .2, it would become divided by 2.2 .2, is equals to x and this one divided by 2.2 .2, .2, it will give us a value of x is equals to 6.798 and again, this is useful for finding the unknown value. And are we sure that this dx or this df is 6.798? So let's check the value. And I think we, we know naman the value of this df. Let's, uh, let's just, yeah, the distance. Okay, let's measure the distance of df. It's 6.8. And of course, if we, if we try to round this off, it's 6.8, right? So therefore, again, the theorem stands. And this is one use of the theorem. Okay, if you don't know one part, then you can get the uh, the measure of that part by just simply um, using algebra. Okay, so if you had um, if you would have any other questions, you can view the video again, and um, of course you can ask me in our group. Thank you everyone for listening, and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.